another positive session. What did you make of it? It was a pretty good session for the Australian share market, even though volumes were extremely light. But that was to be expected. We saw $2.4 billion worth of beat stock being traded. But of course, Victoria was on holidays for the Melbourne Cup. And no doubt, a lot of people were celebrating the Melbourne Cup, so not a lot of volume going through the market. But $2.4 billion still pretty good for a Tuesday, where we did see a public holiday in Victoria. And in fact, across the market, we saw all sectors trading higher, with just one exception, and that was the telecom sector, which saw losses today. Although volumes were quite light, there was plenty of news to go around. We saw Illumina down by 7.9%, and that's after the Indonesian Supreme Court upheld the in Indonesian government's move to, uh, to ban e uh, the export of unprocessed uh, minerals from the country. So unfortunately, not a good day there. McMahon reviewing expenditure. Um, that's on the back of some of those downgrades that we've seen coming through for, for the business. We've seen Monodelphus winning a $100 million contract. A good day for both Drill Search and Beach Petroleum. It looks like a new oil discovery in the Bayer, uh, the Bayer One project. Um, and altogether, a pretty good day all around for the Australian share market. Reaction at an index level in terms of equities. But look, some interesting movements among some individual stocks, in particular some of the retailers, the likes of David Jones, uh, Maya, both down around 1.3% in the end. And I think we just saw a continuation of those losses we saw yesterday. Yesterday we saw retail sales numbers out for September and the number was better than expected with a rise of 0.5 percent. Before the third quarter it was department store sales which were the worst performing sector. We saw uh, a pretty strong uh, drop off in sales down by 3.6 percent. So I guess some concerns around that retail sector uh, as we go into that key Christmas period. But of course for the equity markets I think the difference is between market expectations and economists expectations the markets have been pricing in around about a 50% chance of a rate cut, whereas economists, about three-quarter of them, had been pricing in a cut. So if we have a look at the reaction on the Aussie, do uh, on the Aussie share market, this is, actually, this is actually the Australian share market. And if I just show you a graph, you can see we saw the rates decision and mm. then we bounced all the way back up again. So not much of a reaction in the end for the Australian share market. However, a very different reaction in terms of the Aussie dollar. And you can see where that rate reaction uh, came through. Uh, above 104 at the moment and of course it's going to be a big night for currencies and that's because we see the US election. If we do see a Romney win then we could see the US dollar being bought up as expectations around quantitative easing ease off. So it's going to be a huge night for currencies, commodities as well as for our market tomorrow as we react to the US elections. Yeah,